Coronavirus. Are you ready? Learn how to build a 30-day food supply kit in just five hours versus waiting eight weeks for a food supplier company that charges you thousands. This food kit includes enough food for 30 days for four adults and one child. About us, my husband's name is Dr. John Pendleton and he was a surgeon for the U.S. Army for over 31 years. And I am Dr. Jane Pendleton and I had my master's degree in criminology and we both went back and got our doctorates in divinity. So both in the medical and science fields, let's just say we've learned a lot and we're ready to share it with the people around us. John is a licensed Indiana State teacher and can teach from kindergarten through college. And I am now a custom home builder. And we've been teaching how to survive an emergency in different situations for over eight years on YouTube. Be sure and watch our prepper series videos posted in the show more box below. These are real threats, so take notes. Hi, it's Dr. John and Dr. Jamie Pendleton. We are back with our little homestead. That's right, this is our prepper series. I promised you that I would bring you a 30-day coronavirus or emergency situation food supply kit that you could make yourself for a fraction of the cost that it would cost you to go out and buy a food kit, okay? If you went out and bought all of this for four adults and one child or two adults and three children, or four to five children, that's about what would cover here. What I bought is one shopping trip, one shopping trip, it took me five about five hours of shopping to find all the best prices. I did it on my uh, phone ahead of time. Okay, did all my couponing, everything ahead of time, and for three hundred and thirty-three dollars, I got thirty days worth of food and supplies that we would need, except for milk and eggs, because there was no powdered milk anywhere. But of course, you all know I already supplied that. This is just for fun. I did this just to show you guys what you would need for a 30-day food supply and how you could do it getting by with water only if you're big milk drinkers. If not, then um, everything you see here takes water. Okay, water. And so, <laughs> so I had to go a little bit different route because I just couldn't find the powdered milk anywhere. They're out of it. This coronavirus has everybody out of the mask and out of the milk. So, I went with what I had. I made 30 days worth of food based on what the store did have. Okay, I had to do some adjustments on my grocery list, but I was, I did it. I was able to do it about dehydrating. What are you gonna do when you're in quarantine if you can't go to work? Well, it's a good time to figure out what the pioneers did. How to can or how to, how to dry can or how to uh, store your food for shorter term or long term food storage. So get a dehydrator and take and buy lots of fruits and vegetables and start dehydrating, okay? Start dehydrating and get yourself a vacuum sealer and make sure that it has the little um, ball cating lids on there so you can do that. I'm going to link all my videos down below for my prepper series, starting from the first video and you can watch them all the way down. Even if you get just one little bit of information off one of my videos that helps you then I have succeeded in helping you in some way survive the storm. I have 750 videos teaching you how to survive the storm. And I mean, to be honest, I don't know what more I can teach you except for bringing it all together for the situation we're all in together right now. The entire world is in this situation, the coronavirus. So um, with that being said, and without panicking, I still think that you should at least have a 30 day supply of food for each person that's in the house. That would cost you probably around $300, so 600, so it would be around $600 per person if you bought pre-packaged kits of food, okay? You're talking $3,000 to feed your family 
You can go out and get bulk foods and get what you need for 30 days. This doesn't have to store for 30 years. This virus is here now. You want to prepare for it now. Okay? And it, it's not even about panicking. Um, you should always have at least, come on, you should at least always have two to four weeks of food stores in advance for yourself in case of an emergency to help you get from one paycheck if you're out until you get another job. I can't tell you how many people have written me and said, Jane, you saved me during a hard time. I thought I was prepping for tornadoes or my earthquakes or my hurricanes. But it ended up, I lost my job, and I ended up feeding my family off that year supply of food. That 72-hour supply of food got me home in the flood. It got me home in the mudslides when they wouldn't let me to my house in the fires out in California. I had someone write me and said, Jane, I can't believe it. My 72-hour bug-out bag and the money I and the cash I put in there and the extra hiking shoes, it all came into pass when I was stuck in an Australian fire and was stuck on a beach and I couldn't get to my house which I could see at the top of the hill the whole town was at the beach so today I'm going to teach you about buying in bulk we're going to talk about using our phones at the dollar store the dollar general different places to get a digital coupons to shop there's videos I have on that all down below I'm going to leak things all down in the show more but this video is about 30 day food supply we're not talking about buying the healthiest food there is no we're talking about ways to add calories in a crisis in an emergency how to store it in totes and how to spend 333 dollars for four adults and one baby or however number of people you have versus thousands of dollars on prepackaged tote foods but these companies now for all the people that waited they are backed up six to eight weeks do you really want to get your food supply your 30-day food supply for the coronavirus two or three months from now so for 333 dollars i'm going to feed four adults and one baby and here's where we're going to get started all right so when we come back my husband's going to be joining us so yeah so just remember clean air clean food and clean water and you're keeping your environment as clean as possible and remember if it weren't for germs we'd all be dead there are germs out there that are keeping us alive okay we don't want to kill those <laughs> we don't we don't want to be so germ free that we don't have immunities to other things we don't want to put our children in, the, in that situation but right now for the next few months we want to be extremely cautious because there is something out there that we've never been exposed to not one of us in america until recently has ever been exposed to this specific virus it's like sars or, or like what john said happened in the middle east that makes it different i mean we've all had the flu multiple times this year we had what we call the russian flu i hadn't had it in 30 years and i'm telling you it went through the family like this and we were all down and speaking of masks you can't even get them right now and the ones you are getting are price gouged this is why i was telling you to prep for at least two weeks to four weeks of food years ago because this is exactly what i knew would happen if something happens they price gouge you. best way for you to buy right now at walmart was in bulk in very large sizes these aren't going to be the healthiest choices so i'm going to get people out there i wouldn't eat that that's not healthy but that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about emergency preparedness and feeding your family for 30 or more days and how to do it on 300 and some dollars versus 3,000 and some dollars okay so and now and you can do this in five and four or five hours of shopping with a list with your phone pre-plan the night before know where you're going know where the best deals are half of this came from Walmart the other half came from Dollar General that's true and um and you might even find some things even like zip tight or zipper same as zipper things you might find them even cheaper even at the dollar tree if you're in the military go to the commissary buy in bulk okay We're, we might go to the commissary tomorrow we might fruits and vegetables you're going to need to dehydrate say hey you're going to be in quarantine i mean you're going to be putting yourself in self quarantine that's what everybody else is doing they're putting themselves into quarantine 
So if that's the situation, then you got plenty of time to dehydrate your fruits and vegetables and have some yummy things to snack on, okay? So you can do this. Get yourself an inexpensive dehydrator off eBay. It can be at your house in three to five, seven days. Tell them to rush ship it and uh, you'll have a dehydrator on hand. Get yourself a vacuum sealer, very important, and make sure it has the little, a little hole on top for your ball caning jars so that you can, um, you can vacuum seal your dehydrated goods when you're done. So the best place to buy jars, Goodwill and places like that or garage sales which of course this time of year we're not having any garage sales, but you can get jars. I see them all the time at the Goodwills, especially your rural Goodwills. You can, you can do it. So. It's just a matter of finding things like this was all tore up. I got this with my coupon and everything off. I ended up paying only like $1.50 for two things of your Optic White toothpaste. This was 50 cents with my coupon. So it, it really should have been free if they added on 50 cents. They, for some reason, they won't let me have things for free. And this was $2.50 off, I believe, off this one. So this was uh, 7 No, I got $3 off this, so this ended up being $2. Plus, I had, it was the Saturday, and it was Leap Day. So I, and I know it's already over for you, but it was $6 off a $25 purchase or more at, at Dollar General. So, so I got $6 off my overall purchase on top of my coupons. So... And then the other stuff, I went to the bulk sections, which is usually the bottom area of most of the shelves, or the whole bulk section, uh, to get the larger things here, to give you an idea here. Look at this. Look at this. How many servings are in here? I'm killing my wrist. 77 servings! 77! Like this. An item that makes multiple things. I can't keep in the flour, baking soda, and all that on hand, and get it into a tote. To make this this is pre-made it's already in the bag and it's storable it's resealable I've got the resealable here and this is good and December the 7th of 22 in this packaging and you can probably guess probably a year or two longer than that okay best if used by date okay things like this in the foil package they last 20 years seasonings last a long time things like this right here needs to go into glass jars and need to be vacuum sealed though or else they'll pick up flavors of other things in the cabinet so we're going to go over all of that in some of the other videos i already have in the other videos so i'm just going to post my prepper series the whole shebang of uh, i think almost 60 some videos i think that i made in the last few six years on how to get through the storm how to weather the storm I think that was my one of my first videos how to weather the storm so for the coronavirus I suggest you get two to four weeks worth of food built up into your home put it into totes so that people and the little nibblers don't go through and eat it and make sure that you have it built up all right so we're gonna go all over this systematically all right it's going to be a long video because I said I was gonna put it all in one video and I wasn't just going to jump around and hop around, okay? So, buying in bulk, buying mills that all kind of fit together, and then buying... Oh, what did I get my book? Oh, here it is. Sorry. I laid it down here at the baby shampoo. Um, get a pen, get a paper, and take notes of what you had. Take your receipts. Figure out what you spent for the day. Look at this, this is all my savings. <laughs> Those are all dollar signs right there. See all the dollar signs that went into 50 cent signs? That's a lot of this stuff. Honey, I coupon, I clipped other things, I bought stuff that was coupons and on sale in the clearance aisle. Right down to this um, thing of apple juice. It's the, only, it's the only thing in glass besides the jelly that I bought. I didn't buy anything in glass. So, um, and by the way, these are pop tops. And you know I love those because they're reusable. I can put my juice from my orchard in there next year. If the house hasn't sold yet. You know, I can make my own grape juice in my pop tops. Okay, you know I do that. You've seen me do it. Mm, I love my own juices off the orchard. So what you want to do, and I keep my receipts so I remember. If I got to get another 30-day supply, 
I'll remember where I went and where I got it, and I'll go right back in there and try to do it again. The next Saturday, as soon as I get another $5 off 25 or more purchase, I'll be right back into Dollar General, and I'll be adding on to my 30-day supply. Or I might pick up some items that might add a little flavoring to some of the other dishes. Um, just like these cheese packets. I got all they had, but I might hit another dollar store. Since we're going to Lebanon, we have two dollar stores. And we have another one now in Kirkland. So I might go around and get some more of these Velveeta packet, cheese packets. Because that would be good on anything. Pasta, rice, anything. Hydration, eight hours in some cases. You will have your own uh, things dehydrated and it shrinks it down like a bag of peas will be like this so less storage space and it reconstitutes right back to where it was and has all of its great flavor and vitamins it's a great way to store food dehydrate it all right so i think we've covered that now we bought what we like but i want you to go buy and figure out your plan for what you like and I want you to coupon it. I want you to figure it out for the best price you can get. And I want you to see if you can get it in bulk. And if you can get the packages for 50 cents. Even if these were a dollar each, it's still far cheaper to put together your own 30-day uh, food supply. Even in freezer mills or whatever, however you want to blend it and mix it. Uh, uh, crock pot mills. Put stuff in the freezer. However you want to do it, it's still cheaper for you to do it that way than it is for you to go get a couple of totes that are pre-dehydrated, pre-packaged food that's not going to come for eight weeks. It's just not going to happen. I was going to order some just so I could show you guys the food. I wanted to bring you what you can go out and do for yourself right now today for a third of the cost, less than a third of the cost. I mean, $30, $333. And this isn't just food. This includes 30 days of trash bags, food storage bags, food wrap, um, cookies, toothpaste, underarm pit deodorant, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you wanna smell nice. So, baby shampoos. So, I covered 30 day household supplies of cleaners, soaps, shampoos, paper towels, you name it, 30 days. Get your pad and paper, get your pen, let's get started. And we are back, then I suggest finding some um, Clorox wipes of some sort, some brand. They can dry out your hands, however, so keep some lotion nearby. Um, I keep those, by the way, also in my car. And I wipe off my purse, the grocery cart, and before I get back in the car again, I wipe my hands and my purse back off again with these same wipes. So these are handy dandy. Um, these kill a cold and flu viruses. And then you want to, and, and remember, something needs to stay wet on the surface for at least 10 minutes in order for it to kill the amount. So you want to read that package. See, it says it, the disinfectant wipes um, does it. This says it does it in 15 seconds. So that's what you want to look for. This is Microband 24 hour uh, sanitizing spray. This really works. It has a decent scent and it didn't give me a headache like Lysol spray does. Fresh scent. And I got this at the Dollar General store. So what we're working on today, and I'm just going to do a quick scan here. And trust me, this isn't everything sitting out here. I didn't have room. We had to use the bed to lay everything out of. And I just did not have the room for everything. So there's all canned goods and everything down here. I got totes of stuff. And over here are all the baby diaper boxes and stuff uh, over there. Okay. I decided to challenge myself for your guys' sake, for all you guys out there, okay? I wanted to show you how you could supply your own 30-day food supply. Now, take the number of people in your house and things like this. Take, for example, this country peppered gravy mix. This is um, 68 servings. You figure out how many servings that you need of this pepper gravy mix, okay? And of course, you're going to want to put it over biscuits. So right over here is the country biscuit mix. Okay, so basically what I've done here is I want to show you how I took all of our foods that we do eat. And I found them in package. So I have probably closer to probably 45 days worth of food here in some cases. 
I think I have more. Uh, I think I have enough for a lot of breakfast here. <laughs> but but you know what? You can eat breakfast. I like pancakes with a little peanut butter and um, and jelly on them for either lunch or dinner. So you can also have breakfast at dinner. Just just a hint there. Biscuits and gravy. Come on, that's good all day long, honey. <laughs> I'll take a fresh biscuit all day long. So this is saying that yes, you do have a, a cooking source. You do have a water source clean food, clean air, clean water. That's what it takes to survive. All right, you're gonna want to get some dish liquid. I don't care what brand it is, but you're gonna get some with some bleach alternative in it, okay? Keeps things from spreading. Use your dishwasher and use your dry steam setting. Um, and I do that as well on our dryer. I use the extra hot setting uh, if my clothes can handle it and we we don't wear our clothes more than one day in this season either we actually come in and get undressed in the mud room where the washer and dryer is and then we change and put on a robe we go shower ourselves off when we've been out and about don't touch your face or your eyes those masks they're only good to keep you from getting if you're sick wear one if you're not sick just don't touch your face again keep your hands wiped off with one of these Every time I get in my car, I wipe, like I said, I wipe off my purse and my hands. This is the Echo Friendly Lemon Palm Olive. I got this normally. I get the tablets, but this was only a dollar. I, and it uh, dissolves 24 hours stuck on food. False, and it was phosphate free. This was Echo Friendly, and I just, let's see how many washings does it say there is on here. Uh, usually they'll give you a number of washings. This one's not going to do it. But anyway, like the lemon scent. You know me, I like lemon. And so I went with this. So, dishwasher. Use it. Okay? Let's talk about cleaning surfaces. Um, I love anything by LA Totally Awesome brand. This is their all-purpose cherry blossom spray all-purpose cleaner. This stuff is great for uh, the backs of the toilets, the toilet seats. Keep one of these in each bathroom. Make sure that people are using it. If they're not, you use it. But clean those toilet seats and get, keep things clean around the house. Remember, clean food, clean air, clean water. And a clean bathroom is a really, really a happy butt, right? Makes you happy hands, happy butt. <laughs> and then I also, for the kitchen and uh, toilet areas and for the tubs and sinks I also got this Clorox cleanup with bleach. You can see right here where it says um, that it's killed 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses okay that are found in the home okay and this had 40% more and I had a coupon for this so I got a dollar or so off of that. Four things of bleach. Oh, oh yeah so we got four now this is important we got four gallons of bleach plus we had a gallon or two of the lemon bleach got that at dollar general okay john you want to explain what the bleach is for use bleach to purify water you can use bleach to uh clean surfaces and um a general cleaning and uh, as far as killing viruses and things like that it can mm -hmm. go a long way uh, to help that it's not you wouldn't want to pour it on your skin per se uh, or use it, you know, on direct contact like that. It so surfaces. Dry you out, but surfaces, uh, cleansing of uh, different things. That uh, there are multiple purposes for bleach, and uh, it's a good thing to have on hand. Okay, this right here in John's hand, uh, I want to talk about some things that you can pick up uh, right now, uh, like this right here. This was something that doesn't have to be refrigerated that has meat and cheeses in it, and this is the Hickory Farms. Um, a farmhouse a set which is which is what John it's sausage and it's different cheeses uh, cheese sausage uh, crackers but um, this is uh, a complete protein and uh, it could serve uh, four people five people and um, the cost of it when it's Christmas time or different holidays is more mm -hmm. but the off holiday sales when you find for half price or even mm -hmm. less 70% yeah. off or um, maybe a half off Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you like chocolates or other things like that, mm -hmm. after holiday sales are a good thing. Does it have to go in the refrigerator? No, this does not have to go in the refrigerator. And that's really need as much protein sometimes as we think, a palm mm -hmm. of your hand. So 
No, I mean a day. Yes. Um, in a situation where you'd had mm -hmm. to, had to, oh, like this, yeah, less protein. Yeah, you don't necessarily need that much protein, mm -hmm. but you you if you do you do need protein. So this gives a nice way to get it. Okay. So and that's, it's tasty. If you don't like this, though, don't buy it. Yeah, and some crackers, and it comes with crackers too, a box of crackers. I mean, this kit has everything in it for at least a day or two's worth of food. Yes. Mm -hmm. So in an emergency, that's what we suggest. So if you get an emergency kit, pre-made food, the price tag for two weeks of food is going to run you between two and three hundred dollars, right around two ninety-seven with a coupon. That's for one person for two weeks of food. Four hundred to five hundred dollars for two adults for two weeks of food. Double that for thirty days. You're looking at a thousand to twelve hundred dollars worth of food to get you through for thirty days if you buy this in the Mylar bags in totes prepackaged. Okay, I don't care what company you go through. That's about what you're going to be spending somewhere between the seven hundred dollar mark and the twelve hundred dollar mark to get everything you want. Here's the problem with that. If you, like me, are allergic to things that are gluten-free, that can be an issue. I know a lot of these things are not gluten-free, but in an emergency, I'm going to eat it. I mean, i got to eat, right? But like the oats and stuff like that, they are gluten-free. So, and plus, like I said, I've already prepped, so I already have my gluten-free flours all, all, all sealed. But this is for the average person. I wanted to show you what you should get. So let's start from there. Okay, I hope you're getting this and you're understanding this, how to do this. The most important thing is to figure out what you eat, how often you eat it, what you're willing to eat, and 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 to, and, then, and to put this into a prepackaged food situation that can last on your shelf for at least a year to two years and it not go bad. Okay, that's really important. And if you're going to eat it, then at least rotate it. But if you're just going to do a kit for the corona, coronavirus, and this is what you want to do, then take my advice on this, okay? Now, this is where you're going to break out your pen and paper, all right? So you figured out your number of people. For John and I, we they like a lot of macaroni and cheese, and normally I make this baked, and I usually make it homemade, other than I don't make my own pasta for it. But they also do like the kits. Now, the macaroni and cheese, the Cloverdale version here, was inexpensive. So, this is just an example. That I went to the dollar store, I went to Walmart, I found the place that was cheapest on my phone first, and then I went and picked up the items that I needed. Now, this isn't all the macaroni and cheese I got. I got quite a bit, I got quite a bit more, but I didn't have room here on the bed for it. So, so this isn't everything. I just didn't have room on the bed for it. So, um, so I picked up a bunch of boxes of the macaroni and cheese. Now, John, explain to them about cheese and proteins. The cheese is a complete protein. So, um, as opposed to beans and other different things that aren't, that you have to mix to make them a complete protein. Well, if you beans and rice separate are not complete proteins, but, but you put together, them together, they they're, are. They're a complete protein. Yeah. So that's why people say, why do you um, can rice and beans? Rice has nothing in it. Because when you put rice and beans together, you have a complete protein. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also because I'm gluten-free and I can grind uh, the rice and the beans to make flours, to make breads and cookies and things. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing about the $1,200 a month if you had four people to feed. So if, if you want to spend that kind of money, those particular packets may not have anything that you really like to eat. So it's a waste of money if you're not going to eat it. And you're eating so, it uh, the same thing over and over. I can only eat so much, cre you know, cream of potatoes, cheesy potato soup. Yes, and you know? uh, there, uh, you know, the variety of things you have here, like the pancake mix, can also make biscuits. The gravy doesn't have to have any kind of milk. You just add water. Yeah. And the and the same with the pancake mixes that you have too. You just add water. So there's savings in reference to. Your uh, a non ability to have milk or eggs or eggs yeah. or other different things that you may t uh, take for granted in reference to the availability. Of so milk. you're going to want to get things like these Ziploc baggies because if you can't eat an entire thing of 68 servings of gravy mix at one sitting, obviously you can't. Then it's important that you get the uh, double zippered storage bags. Okay, 
And you can put stuff in the freezer to make it last longer. I just want to say that. You can also oven can this type of thing too. As long as it doesn't have any shortenings, nuts, or oils in it, you can um, you can heat oven can it. Uh, your dry goods. You can put things then in jars and vacuum seal it. So get a vacuum sealer. That's so um, and or storing in mylar bags. And in this case, you can just keep it stored just like it is in five gallon buckets so the mice don't get to it. Um, okay, so lots of, of your storage bags, okay? You're gonna need them when you're buying in bulk. You're gonna need your press and seal. You're gonna need a roll of foil. And you're gonna need some sandwich size bags as well. So I stocked up on all of that. So let's talk about bananas. I hope you can see this. Oh, I just can't tell if you can see it. There you go. Let's talk about bananas. Of course, you're, you're going to want some sort of fruit or fresh fruit or something. And you're saying, how am I going to do that? Well, go over to my channel and I teach you how to dehydrate fruits and vegetables. Okay? And again, that vacuum sealer is going to be very important for that. But yeah, I dehydrate this type of thing. But you'll be able to get fresh fruit and vegetables right up till right up until you got quarantined or something, you'd be able to get these. Uh, and something like this doesn't last very long. Put plastic right here on the top and hang these from your banana hanger. Or just hang these from, you can take a grocery bag and just wrap uh, plastic around the top, put a grocery bag down the center right here and hang this from the knob of your cabinets. That will keep these about, what, three or four days longer. Well, I take them out of the peel and put them in the freezer. There you and, go. Uh, just use them uh, frozen bananas. There you go. Yeah. Now, when you're prepping and you know you're not going to be able to go out, get you and your family, each person, one stick of deodorant or any personal hygiene products that they need for 30 days. We were out of deodorant, so I said, okay, we're getting low. I need 30 days worth. So I did that. Shampoos. Baby shampoos. Kid shampoos. What have you, 30 day supply. Toothpaste, make sure you have a 30 day supply. I had coupons for all of that, so I got a good deal. Um, babies, of course, can't use um, fluoride, so right here, um, and I replace her toothbrush once a month, especially since she's been sick. And by the way, you can put toothbrushes through the dishwasher. That's right, sterilize everything. This is a really great way uh, to kill 99.9% .9 of germs. You can wash your hands in Listerine. So in an emergency surgery, there you go. 30 day supply. You get a couple of those for each bathroom. Make sure you have enough shampoo. You want to keep yourself clean. And uh, it's very important. So um, I bathe every day. And sometimes twice a day if, I'm, if I've been out at the farm or we've really gotten dirty. So 30-day supply of shampoo or body wash. Make sure you have that. I'm just, I'm, I'm including this because it's what's included in my 30-day supply kit. I'm counting it. I got some Visine because I wear a contacts and my eyes have really been red and itchy lately. That was in that 333. That's why I'm mentioning it. Um, babies. You need to prep for them. Make sure, um, I'm also going to put a link here down below in the show more section about our homemade Pedialyte. But keep Pedialyte popsicles and Pedialyte on hand for your children in case they get any kind of flu bug or virus. If you're in quarantine and somebody gets a cold, you just can't go out and get what you need. Even if it's not the virus, it might be hard. And maybe you just don't want, you shouldn't take your baby out in this anyway, right? So make sure you're stocked up. And last two. So I got her some um, non-medicated cooling gel for those teeth. Hey, if we're locked in, I want to make sure she has what she needs. We got her saline spray and a whole bunch of other stuff. So she is prepared, you know, physically for anything that may come. And believe it or not, these are not only just for the baby, but these are also for the dogs, so then that way they will come and go when I call them. <laughs> they are little stinkers. So a little treat for the dogs and a little treat for the baby and us. So uh, we're not big sweets eaters. That's why I got these. And remember, I still have all those cookies vacuum sealed. I've never opened but one jar. So everybody made fun of me for vacuum sealing those cookies. But have you priced an Oreo cookie five years, six years later? 
Uh-huh. <laughs> and when we opened them up, what was it, three months ago, they were like fresh as could be. You'd think they came right off the factory shelf. They were perfect. So va vacuum sealing it, and vacuum sealing and oven canning and pressure canning, it works. It works. Vitamins. Make sure you're up on your vitamins because you want to stay healthy. Remember, anything, the, the um, kids' vitamins, make sure you have plenty of this on hand. This is more than a 30-day supply. But since we're doing it for four adults, it turned out that there was 150 in here. So that's enough vitamins for everybody. Optic white. This lid had been torn up on this, but the tubes inside were fine. So this was on clearance for $7 for the two pack. And I ended up getting this at 50% off, plus I had a coupon for $2.50 off. So I picked this up for next to nothing. So I got two tubes of toothpaste for each bathroom. Plus I got this right here also. Okay. And with my coupon with this, this was almost, this was like 50 cents. And it was another really good brand. So, okay. So let me show you up here. 96 rolls of toilet paper. 96 rolls of toilet paper. You heard me correctly. That's what this equals out to. And I picked them up today for $6 a package. So... Dollar General, their brand is better than Northern. Northern was good, they changed, and I started buying this, and this is half the price. I swear, it's like $4, $5 cheaper, and you're getting double rolls. It's great toilet paper, it works, and that's what I've been getting. So that right there, those three uh, 12 rolls that equals 48 rolls, the double rolls, that's enough toilet paper for more than 30 days for four adults and a baby that's just not being potty trained. So that's more than enough. Okay, so go out and grab yourself three packages of that. Get yourself one package of the Dollar General or whatever brand you want. This is the cheapest ones they had of the triple package of paper towel. You're gonna need it for all of these cleaners that you're gonna be using, okay? And with that, Zoom me over here. The garbage bags. Two packages of garbage bags. One bag a day. 15 bags. Two boxes. 30 bags. Okay? That's a 30-day supply of garbage bags. Plus, we had some. Again, we liked the macaroni and cheese, so I got several packages of these. So let me set these aside. Katie really likes spaghetti, and everybody else here likes spaghetti, so this was a no-brainer some spaghetti and all you have to do this is you look at the servings okay this is four servings per container so that's perfect katie does only one she doesn't eat much so there you go and then i bought one can of tomato sauce to make the sauce for this because that's what it calls for that's it so for every package of the box of spaghetti from dollar general i got a medium-sized can of tomatoes to go over the top. So there you go. There's four dinners. Four dinners right there. All right. Now I got Idaho buttery style potatoes. These were a dollar. Got them on sale for 50. Everything here, by the way, I got for 50% off. Everything, even this. So um, I don't know about your area store, but where everybody else was price gouging, they were sitting stuff out at discount. So I was doing pretty good here. I just walked in, I guess, at the right time. Um, make sure you check your dates on everything. Make sure you've got at least two years, a year to two years to eat this up. And this will last a year or two probably beyond that. Um, this was four servings per container, okay? So I got one. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten of these, so I got 40 servings of mashed potatoes. Now that is more than 30 days worth of dinner potatoes. Mm -hmm. So that might be enough for some breakfast potatoes left over. So I can figure that in. The extras you figure in. Side dishes. 
I got all kinds of chicken. Pasta, chicken, rice, Alfredo, butter and herb. Look, they're lined up. Okay. These are um, two and a half servings each bag. So a little half serving is Katie. Two servings. So it would take two bags to come up with five servings. I got enough for seven meals. Now how do you make something like this go further? Well, it's easy. You can add chicken, canned chicken to it for your protein. You can add rice to the refried beans here and some um, tortillas and you can make yourself some, or some burritos. I mean, there's a lot you can do with the Spanish rice and the refried beans and you're getting your proteins. You're getting things that you need. Add a little cheese to that and you've got, what have you got, Dad? Complete protein. You got your complete proteins and you didn't even have to add any meat. But if you want to, make it a chicken burrito or make it a beef burrito. All right. Um, here's chili for white chili. So now you can add your other can of this to this and you can add some of your pasta and you can make yourself some, um, I got some chili beans over there. You can make yourself some white chili really easily. And so I got enough to make one meal of the white chili. Remember, you don't want to eat it over and over and over again. Unless it's mashed potatoes for us. I got a variety here. Big variety. Now, this, I bought it in way too much bulk here. This is 68 servings. And it's 45 calories. Remember, you want to try to maintain a 1,400 to 2,000 calorie day. I mean, that's usually pretty standard when you're figuring for your food, for your food. So if you want to figure that, you can. Um, but this serves 68 servings. Serving size, and this is one tablespoon. Okay, so you, you and I both know we're going to have more than one tablespoon of pepper gravy mix. <laughs> so, so now this goes over here with the biscuit and pancake mix that I bought in bulk, okay? Biscuits and gravy, dried beef gravy over toast. Um, you can take the same gravy and mix it with some pasta and make a nice peppered gravy with pasta and put some cheese in it. Add one of these cheese packets to it here and you got yourself a nice cheesy uh, mix, almost like a macaroni and cheese type situation with a little bit of heat to it. That's really good. Um, so, or even a gravy, a little bit of gravy here for all these here mashed taters. That's right. So, I've got three of those. How many servings is that, Dad? 68 times. <laughs> like I said, we're not going to do 68 servings on that. that I'm going to eat more than one tablespoon of gravy. Calories because you're going to need them, especially for stressing. Now, this is more peppered gravy. I paid 50 cents each for these. This is supposed to be family size. It's supposed to be 13 servings. Um, and then with this right here, I mean, you're just adding um, warm water. So everything I got, you add water to it. Now remember, this was based on having a water source. We have a Berkey. But if you don't, bottled water, jugs of water, or hopefully the situation that we're talking about, your tap water is going to be fine. You're going to have tap water. You're going to have flushable toilets in, a, in, in this virus situation. So, more peppered gravy. Now, this would have been plenty for us. This would have been plenty for us. But then I found these, and I said this was my favorite stuff right here. And it was in bulk, and I thought, i got to get this. Zero trans fat per serving and no artificial flavors. I had to bring this one home. So, we'll be putting this probably in the RV. So, that's what I said. In some cases here, I have more than 30 days worth of food. <laughs> now... All these packages of Velveeta right here. I got I got what they had. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got seven of these. And macaroni and cheese, add a little hamburger to this, or like in this case, add some broccoli to it, whatever. You've got a really good quick meal. And this actually is 200 calories and it is one person serving. Okay? So you got four adults. You and I both know I can make a meal without using four of these packages. I could make a meal maybe using two. Remind you this. I want to reiterate on this. This is for meals, okay? If you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, then here you go. Get yourself a thing, a big jar of peanut butter in bulk size and get yourself, look at the size of this, a big old thing of strawberry jam. Now, you know I already canned all my jams up. 
but I love strawberry jam and I was out of it so I went ahead and got a big thing of strawberry jam and this is huge but there you go enough jam for 30 days for people that everybody likes strawberry jam here so there you go and you can put this on your pancakes if you run out of the syrup now here's a big thing of syrup big thing of syrup and John got a big thing of the uh, of the sugar-free and I got a big thing of the Mrs. Betterworth's original and so two of these and two of the sugar-free was enough for more than 30 days worth of pancakes and breakfast and stuff all right and I'm sorry I'm in the light here all right so another good thing to get here is quick cooking oats I got a big bulk things of quick cooking oats and I also got the pre-made packages and that's already in the pantry we I forgot to bring it up but we bought that in bulk and it had um, 46 was it 46 or 50 packages of different flavors of oatmeal again it only takes water to make it in the microwave your electricity is going to be on in this situation so you'll be fine um, for making healthy cookies or uh, making meatloafs or anything like that got some of that right there so this bulk thing of Krusty's light and fluffy buttermilk pancakes see that right there all right this is it makes 200 it says right here makes let me zoom in makes 260 pancakes fluffy buttery pancakes all right but I don't like to just make just straight up pancakes I like to add pumpkin and pumpkin has all kinds of goodies in it okay solid packed pumpkin so I bought a can of that actually I bought more than one can of that bought several cans of that and that makes for good pies cookies I mean when you're in an emergency situation you want to make sure you're getting the proper amount of nutrients you don't want to eat just a whole bunch of sugars okay you don't want a bunch of fattening foods putting on a little bit of fat and a little bit of weight and and all that during that time is not a bad thing because you're talking about a crisis situation and putting on some bulk isn't a bad idea in a crisis I mean staying fit yes but putting on bulk and exercising it can be a good thing because you're burning more fat when you're exercising all right for sure an exercise it's very very important all right so what we have here then is you can make your waffles you can you know we have blueberry plants strawberry plants blackberry plants you may not have all that so you can't add that so you might have to get some de a can of number 10 can of dehydrated fruit for your pancakes and and if you can't find fresh get dehydrated cost a little more or you can do what you can dehydrate your own okay and um you gotta be doing something those 30 days you're quarantined start dehydrating your food um, preserve your food you'll have 30 days to do it and then um, and then also back here we got the big super size thing of our favorite cereal because um, I really like the berry fruit real fruit Cheerios and I actually put a handful of those I don't need a whole bowl of them I put those on top of the Rice Krispies and then that keeps me gluten free for breakfast but um, here I got the makings for chili for regular chili I got the Brooks uh, chili beans and uh, tomatoes and that and I got the beef in the freezer so I'm ready for that and for a ham loaf that can last a couple of days and through some lunches as well so um, so you want to be sure and add your meats or at least some canned meats to the situation so take into account what you have in your freezer as well but you know, obviously I couldn't bring the meat up here to the bedroom so um, I bought the cut green beans in bulk because these were on sale for 50% off so um, and they were good for another two years and they were not dent cans I don't never buy a can with a dent because that's a sign of po possible botulism so I never buy a dented can I know people that do but I don't so I mean that's a that's that's your preference so there you go plenty of breakfasts plenty of lunches and trust me I'm only showing you one of each of these things okay I've got tons of the chicken breast and the meat and everything that I need here I'll come over here and show you what I'm talking about I don't want to drop that off 
I got crackers. I got a whole pantry full of stuff here. But I wanted to show you what 30 days worth of food looked like. All right. Here we have my son-in-law's SpaghettiOs and Katie's SpaghettiOs. Well, I picked them up at great value for less money than I picked them up at the dollar store. So I ended up with two different types of SpaghettiOs. Um, again, we got lots of the different tomatoes for the different recipes that I'll be making with these pouches so I can make them taste a little better. We got hot dog chili sauce because it has meat in it. We have our pr protein in there. We have our gluten-free breadcrumbs to put in our uh, meatloafs. More hot dog sauce. More a uh, chili with beans. Uh, more SpaghettiOs. More tomatoes. More refried beans. More chili. Um, here's your chicken and dumplings for a quick lunch or supper if somebody's on the run. Uh, we got some whole kernel corn. I was out of that. For my corn casserole, I make a really good corn casserole. And then lots more green beans and mushrooms. Mushrooms are a great source of vitamins, so mushrooms are really good. Cream style corn, lots of corn and green beans. Again, we're just going for that 30 days. More SpaghettiOs. You get what you like. Here's the totes. I told you there's more food down in the totes already. All right. Here I got um, the Veg All Original. This is the mixed vegetables in a can. I usually only like frozen vegetables or my home canned. But this was 50% um, off on sale. So I picked these up for 50 cents a can. 50 cents a can and there's still two years left on the date. Same here. I paid a dollar a can for the baked beans. That's a steal. I would have gotten that either way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good deal on that. And then some more um, SpaghettiOs. Lots of different types of canned meats and some more of those chicken and dumplings. I eat a lot of chicken salad. So um, that's what this is for. And then of course you can store mayonnaise outside the refrigerator. But we had a brand new great big thing of it. So I'm not worried about not... We bought our mayonnaise in bulk and a great big thing. So, um, yeah, I'm not worried. And we all love chicken salad here. So, again, I only bought things that I knew people would eat. Now, let's go over here for baby needs. This is more than 30 days worth of um, fragrance-free baby wipes. Had a coupon for these. Okay. Here's the Gentle Steps. They were on sale, and I got them 50% off for 80 diapers. So take the number of diapers that your children use per day, multiply that, these are the size three, and figure out the number of diapers in here and you'll know how many you need for, uh, for storing away. Don't normally use Huggies because they're more expensive, but these were $24, 50% um, off, so I picked them up for 12, and then, plus I had a coupon. So I picked these up for right around um, $11, I think. $11 and then the loves I had 250 off coupon and then these were um, about $7.50 for 92 diapers okay so all together <laughs> I got enough diapers for several grandkids but this is just for Katie this is just for Katie because she's one years old she's got a cold and I do not want her out where there's viruses going around she's already had a flu this year so she's starting to build up those immunities that you get as an adult. But she's not being nursed anymore. So you notice now she's picking up these, these uh, little viruses and things. She's picking things up and she hardly ever leaves the house. But those immunities she got from nursing, that's all starting to leave her. And now she's starting to get these illnesses and building up her immunities. Well, I do not want her to get the coronavirus. Okay? Don't want her to get it. So she's going to be really limited about who she goes around her cousins, anybody, she's going to be limited. Because they go off to school, she's going to be limited. So it's just for her own protection. And also I've got some baby masks that I'm going to be, uh, that I've ordered with charcoal lining that are washable. They're good for up to a year, they're washable, and I got one for each of us. They were about uh, $13 each. Um, but this is why I prepped so many years ago, so that I wouldn't have to do this. 
and um, and I'm only doing this now because I had so many people ask me Jane how do I get a 30-day supply well you can spend up to a thousand twelve hundred dollars for a 30-day supply for just a couple of adults in your family you can spend two or three thousand for a 30-day supply of pre-made dehydrated foods in mylar bags if for your uh, family if you have several adults and a few children so look at this I did it for three hundred and thirty three dollars okay for three hundred and thirty three dollars I got enough food here but does not include milk eggs but none of these things took milk and eggs and by the way I forgot to mention the um, this other pancake mix which is um, Cracker Barrel I got it in bulk the two of them and that's enough for more pancakes waffles biscuits for the biscuits and the gravy so um, so yeah we're not gonna be eating skinny <laughs> uh, for those days we're not gonna be eating skinny but the rest of the the year when we're when we're eating regular you know I do make homemade really good healthy homemade meals so I try to get things that would be go in storage that could go in a tote that would give us good calories that would fill us up that tasted good that I could intermix with other things to make other meals and um, and I think I accomplished that I really do so so I hope this influences you. Right, so I hope you. you've enjoyed this episode of this prepper series episode for the coronavirus or for any situation where you may need two weeks and in this case 30 days food supply, house cleaning and virus supply stuff. And again, there's no mask here because you don't need them because you're not going to go anywhere because this right here, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to bug in. You're going to stay in place. And if you have to leave, then this right here, you can take it with you because it's going into totes. It fits into totes and it's cheaper than the um, buying it at nearly $3,000 for four adults and a child in my case. This was only $333 and I got pretty much everything I needed other than the uh, powdered milk. And again, if I can find it somewhere, then I'm going to find that. If you feel like you want to add a mask to that, then get a washable N95 mask. Those last, last they got the charcoal uh, filtering and, and, and batting in them. And they're, they make them for children as well. And all kinds of cool little cotton collars versus six dollars for one that only lasts 12 hours and is not washable and don't use those little paper blue ones your breath causes them to get wet and they only last an hour so you have to change them out every hour so anyway i hope this has helped you i know this was a long video probably one of my longest videos yet <laughs> but i really feel it's important that you get a 32 week do me a favor just get two week supply if, but if you can do two weeks food supply or you can do four weeks food supply please do it spring's coming garden seeds are going to be out soon if you got a greenhouse or you got a way in your window to start some seeds go for it so many uh, medicinal herbs are out there and flowers that you can eat are out there that are good for you uh, we're going to actually go over that this year we're going to get more deep into herbal remedies and things I've got a lot of knowledge on it. I've been studying, taking classes, and reading a lot of books up on it. And I can't wait to get into that this spring and summer. And yes, our house is still for sale. And then I've, I've kept my promise. Until that house sells, I'm not building anything else. I am done with owning all the properties. I've got the farm and the house. When the house sells, I'll put a house on it. Plus, I have some other houses going up for clients. So again, this year, I might be thin and none during construction season. So I'm going to get all this put in the totes so my husband can get to bed. We want to thank you for watching. Be sure and subscribe. We're almost 100,000 strong. Um, I know my prepping videos have all went, started going viral again because of this coronavirus. Um, I can usually tell when something's going on <laughs> with the, with the uh, algorithms. But I want to thank you all for watching and for supporting my channel for writing me and letting me know how this channel has helped you and how this knowledge, how you've been able to help others with it as well. A lot of you are making the homemade laundry detergent so you've saved enough money that you've been able to buy extra groceries and things. So if you can swing it and remember, write it down, everything that you've got and the meals you plan on making could be made forget between now and the time you may need it. 
So be sure and put it on a piece of paper and put it, a piece of paper in each tote to show what you have in each tote. So I have to do that yet. I have, well, actually what I'm going to do, I'll know what's in each tote because all I have to do is write it down off the receipts. So I can go ahead and put my stuff in the totes. And I'm going to write next to it what I paid for each item. So I'll know not to overpay next time I go. But yeah, if you don't do 30 days worth of food and you only do two weeks of food and you run out of food, you'll be price gouged. You will be price gouged. Look at how much masks are right now in 95 masks. Uh, when there's a shortage of that, nitro gloves, you can't, the store didn't have any nitro gloves left at all. Any place we went, anywhere here in Carmel and Westfield, Lebanon area, they had no nitro gloves at all. So I just told John, I said, thank God we bought great big casefuls of them. We did. The peroxide was going off the shelves, the alcohol rubbing, isopropyl alcohol was going off the shelves. Uh, like I said, you couldn't get your hands on any milk products other than toddler milk and formula. And, um, and that will be the next to go. And then diapers were getting thin. And then I was getting my diapers for 50% off just because they were uh, coating out, um, uh, seasoning out at the dollar store. So now's a good time to go get see if the diapers or anything like this might be on clearance section at the store. Because just because it codes out doesn't mean that it's not good here on the use by date. If it still has even a year left on the use by date, you can imagine it's got another year or two left on the shelf date on it. In most cases. Canned meats, you know that's good for a long time. Canned beans, same thing. If a can's not swollen, it's not dented, it's still good. Okay, it's still good. So any tips that you may have, be sure and leave them down below. Let me know how you think I did. I think considering I didn't, you know, I mean, considering I wasn't so calorie conscious because I knew that in a crisis you're supposed to have some extra calories, extra fat, in an emergency because you might not get three, three meals square a day. So your calories can be more at each meal. Um, so yeah, junk food's not so bad. Um, and sometimes this is all that you can get your hands on. So that's what we went for this time. Things that took water to make it, not just milk, but you could use water. Things that took canned goods and things that didn't necessarily take glass. This was the only glass item in the batch. And then of course the peanut butter should be here too and that's downstairs. So they had a big thing of peanut butter. So and nuts and seeds are a really good thing to store as well and energy bars. So you prep what you need. This is just an idea that got you started, okay? And I hope that it helped, okay? Leave me a comment down below. Be sure and subscribe for more. We're almost 100,000 strong and the Pendleton Angels are the ones that thank for it, okay? We love you. Go with God, all right? Questions and answers down below. Blessings. If it weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Oh.